Tesla update here on the first. So, um, nice retracement into the close. Invalidated this move right here. So, invalidated this being a possibility. But, it did not invalidate this being a second wave or this being a B wave um, or an X wave too. So I'm going to go over the possibilities for tomorrow. Obviously tomorrow deliveries is going to be a binary event. We're either going to see a spike up or a spike down. Which way is it going to go? Hopefully you're hedged. Um, so let me go over from the very beginning. I changed the count a little bit just because I think this makes a little bit more sense. So if you go back to August 5th right here, the move down, we had the crash. We came up here. I think this is supposed to be a fourth wave. So I've been measuring down here, but this makes more sense. This being a truncated fifth wave. What does that mean? It just means that the move was so extreme and the bounce was so extreme that the fifth wave could not make it to a lower low um, than the crash. So this is actually the fifth wave right here. If we go to the daily time frame, you see here we get the green candle and then a pullback right here. I had that labeled as one, two. Then we get a spike here, one, and then obviously this right here is ABC. So that's a second wave. Parallel line drawn there. The third wave ends right here. Also, 1.61 fib, it goes out right there as well. So I think that's a third wave right there. And uh, we're currently more than likely, more than likely, I'm still open to the bear count as well because I think the market has a chance to tank as I showed in the last video. But I'm going to go over the bull count first. So this is the bull count. So if this is a fourth wave, the fourth wave either ended, ended right here or it's going to end down here at 240. The only reason I say you can go down to 240 is it's a binary event. And if you go back and look at the second wave right here, we got to move down, up, down, retrace, and then down. What do we have right here? Down, up, down, retrace, down. So if it follows the same pattern, it can come down here and fill the gap at 240 and still be in a uh, fourth wave. It would hit about the 0.38 fib. So it really comes down to deliveries tomorrow, what's going to happen. Um, but I also say that I'm not ruling out that this was the end of the C wave as well that I've shown in previous videos. So. The reason I say that's possible, we hit the very top of this parallel line. You can see I have it drawn here. We hit the very top. And then we came down here. We're retracing. So you got to be ready for potentially a move down right here. So let's say this is a first wave. And this is a second wave. A third wave would go all the way down to 238, right on the, the nose, right there. That could also be this, the end of the fourth wave, ABC, 238. Or it's a third wave, we bounce and come down here to 230. Wouldn't that be kind of crazy if you went down to 230 over the next, like, four or five days and then retraced into robo-taxi slash earnings? So if we come down here, there's two possibilities. Either it's the end of the fourth wave or it's a third wave down. Or the fourth wave already ended. And this is setting up for a big move higher. One, two. It probably looks something like this because this would be one, two, three, four, five. 
probably go up here to 275, 280. So I am ready for both um, scenarios and not sure which one's going to play out, but I promise you that tomorrow, whenever I do a video tomorrow, I'm going to have a very good idea of what is going on at that point. There's still, we're still at the point where there's like three or four scenarios that could play out. Um, and you can't really just sit here and be like, this is definitely going to happen when we have three binary events going to coming up. So tomorrow after deliveries will give us a very clear picture of what's going to happen. But for now, those are the possibilities I see. So again, I'll summarize. I see 240 tomorrow. Or I guess by the end of the week or maybe by Thursday, 240. Or we continue up here for a fifth wave. And if that's the case, that kind of goes against what I just said on the overall market video. But if that's the case, I'm targeting, I'm actually targeting 290. 292. So that would go way up in monthly supply. But I'm ready for it. Let's see what happens with deliveries. That would probably mean we hit, um, by the end of the week, we probably hit like 270, 280, and then keep on running all the way into um, Robo Taxi, I would think. So we probably run for another week into the Robo Taxi event for a third wave, maybe consolidate, and then after Robo Taxi, go up even higher than that. So. Tomorrow will tell us everything. Let's see what happens. Those are the scenarios I have laid out. Hopefully you're hedged and we'll see what happens.